Let me show you how to roast cauliflower. Hey, cauliflower. I wouldn't say you're white, but I caught you saying all lives matter to the blackberries. <laughs> Folks, if you think that's crazy, I saw cauliflower wearing an Ed Sheeran t-shirt. It makes sense. Cauliflower does go well with cheese. <laughs> I swear, cauliflower, you're the biggest white vegetable since Stephen Miller. Okay, let me tell you how to do it for a reel this time. Now, before we get to the cauliflower, let's take care of the tahini sauce. Now, in a medium-sized bowl, let's add about four tablespoons of tahini paste. Oh, and if you have a pool of oil, make sure you stir that back into the tahini paste. Then add four cloves of garlic pureed, a teaspoon and a half of salt, and half a cup of lemon juice. Mix everything together with a small whisk. Our sauce is a bit watery. Nothing a little tahini paste can't fix. This is the consistency you are looking for. Now give it a quick taste test. A touch more salt. Covered it in saran wrap. And now for the start of the show, the cauliflower. And before you top the cauliflower, make sure to slice off any brown parts. We don't want any brown parts on our white cauliflower. Um, don't overthink it. Okay, first thing we have to do is to remove the stem. Now let's chop this into quarters. And just simply remove the little florets with your hands. Oh, and uh, make sure these are nice bite-sized pizzas. All right, now let's move these into a large mixing bowl. And let's toss them in about a quarter cup of grapeseed oil. Two and a half teaspoons of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Give everything a nice toss. Then transfer them to an aluminum aligned baking sheet. Do you have to use aluminum foil? Not really, but it makes cleanup a hell of a lot easier. Space them out nice and evenly. Now heat the oven to 450 degrees. Do you get explosive diarrhea after drinking your country's tap water? Well, the number you're looking for is 230 degrees Celsius. Stick our cauliflower into our 450 degree oven. And um, I know this is the part where I throw to some sort of crazy time card with random music, but you want to check up on the cauliflower every couple minutes to give it a nice toss to make sure it doesn't burn. nice and charred like this. So go ahead and take them out of the oven. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thank you, thank you. If you like the video, smash the like button. Become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, and please share the hell out of this channel so I can monetize my videos. This isn't even a real microphone. I just wrapped a whisk in aluminum foil. That's how cheap I am.